that you try the spirits. Right. Right. Now that, that, that spirits got an S on it. Yeah. Yeah. That's to let you know that there's a lot of spirits yes. in yes. the world. Yes. The Bible says try the spirits yes. by the spirit. Yes. Because yes. everything that say that they love him really don't love him. Right. So as Jesus was on his way into Jerusalem, the Bible says that they were shouting out, Hosanna, Hosanna yes. to the most high God. Yes. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. I want to let you know today that everybody that was shouting Hosanna, Hosanna, really wasn't for right. Everybody that always pat you on the back, really ain't for you. Everybody that always running up in your face, telling you about other folk, really ain't for you. I want to let you know that it ain't what it seems like. We need to realize and understand that in, in this life, we're going to have some tribulation. Yeah. In this life, we're going to have some problems. Yeah. And as being true followers of Jesus Christ, we yeah. need to know that we're going to have some ups and yeah. some downs. Yeah. We need to know that every day ain't going to always be peaches and cream. Yeah. We want, we really, really need to know that folk really ain't going to like us. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Because we are following after Jesus. Yeah. He said, take up your cross and follow me. If you are going to follow Jesus, you're going to have some problems. Yeah. If you are going to follow Jesus, you're going to have to go through some stuff sometimes. Yeah. No matter how big you are, no matter what side of the track you're from, you're going to have some tribulations in this life. Yeah. So Jesus, being in his infinite wisdom, Jesus knew that everybody wasn't for him. Oh, yeah. Jesus knew that there was some that was that was that was parading his name. There was some that was laying out their clothes before him, and, and days later they was ready to crucify him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I stopped by the day to let you know that those that put you up. Mm. Just the same day they'll be the ones that'll put you down. It used to be when they, they'll put you up today, the they'll let you down tomorrow. Mm. But that thing done flipped now, y'all. Yeah. They'll put you up today the and they'll let you down today. The you need to understand that if God is for you, who can be a issue? And you need to know that God is for you. Yeah. I want to let you know that he's for you because he died for you. Yeah. That's the reason why he went into Jerusalem. Uh -huh. See, Jerusalem was a place where, where all the prophets was, was, was uh, crucified. All the prophets were stoned uh -huh. in Jerusalem. Uh -huh. Because one thing about it now, yeah. if you're going to be a threat to me, Guess what? I got to get you out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's what it was with Jesus. Jesus was a threat to, yeah. the, to, the, to the Jerusalem uh, Empire. Yeah. In order for folk to remove you, they'll tell lies on you. Yeah. In order for folk to remove you, they'll set traps for you. Yeah. But one thing about it, Jesus knew the hearts of yes, the people. He, yeah. he knew that the ones that was for him, and he knew the ones that was against him. Yeah. And many of the crowd was not true disciples. Mm -hmm. They they are in the crowd, but they are not in Jesus. Yeah. Now see, the, the Bible said that there was a cry of folk when mm -hmm. Jesus rolled into Jerusalem. Yeah. See, his disciples and his followers, they was looking for Jesus to come in on a king horse. Mm -hmm. They was looking for Jesus to come in with a sword. Mm -hmm. They was looking for Jesus to come in to conquer Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. But look how he came in. Mm -hmm. He came in on a donkey. Mm -hmm. He came in in humiliation. Mm -hmm. See, Jesus knew that he had to go through yeah. what he went through. Yeah. But how many of us that are willing to go through what we got to go through. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We are, we are bargaining our way out. Uh -huh. We'll do whatever we can to get out of it. But I'm reminded when Jesus was in the garden of Gethsemane, uh -huh. when he prayed, he said, Father, yes, he did. let this cup pass from yeah. He didn't want to do it. Uh -huh. But he loved us so much. Yeah. He said, nevertheless, Lord. Uh -huh. See, that's what we need to have, a nevertheless spirit. Yeah. Uh -huh. Lord, nevertheless, let your will be done. Uh -huh. Jesus knew that he had to go to the cross. Yes, he did. So as he went on into Jerusalem, they was there parading him. And, and the, 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 uh, the, 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 uh, the Jerusalem, the people that was in charge of the uh, Jerusalem people, in other words, the high priest and all yeah. of them, they told Jesus, said, quiet your people. 
Mm-hmm. Shut them up. Mm-hmm. Jesus said, if I shut them up, he said, a rock a cry out to me. So I don't know about y'all, I got praise in my spirit. Because I don't want no rock crying out for me. Because I know he done done too much for me in order for me to be silent. See, that's the reason it bothers me when, when folk come to church looking mad. When folk come to church looking sad. When folk leave home arguing. See, when you leave home, you should already have the spirit of God already in you. It has no reason for you to be sad. Mm-hmm. There's no reason for you to be empty. Yeah. We need to be filled with God's spirit. Yeah. So as he went on into Jerusalem, Jesus knew what he had to face. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. well. Jesus knew that his enemy was there. So what did he do? He went on in there and he kept on teaching and he kept on preaching. Yeah. And as they heard him, they yeah. called him a blasphemer. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. How is it that he's a blasphemer and he's healing folk? Mm-hmm. How is it that he's a blasphemer and he's preaching the word? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's how it is today when you preach God's word, they'll call you everything yeah. except yeah. the child of God. Yeah. Yeah. They'll say all manner of evil against yeah. you. Yeah. But you got to realize that God is on your side. Yeah. And as long as God is on your side, then you're able to stand. Yeah. Now Jerusalem is the city of great king and the holy city. Right. And it is the city who kills the prophets and stone those who sent to her. The city and its inhabitants will face awful judgment because they did not recognize the time of divine visitation by Jesus. Yeah. Indeed, Jesus missing ended in his rejection by Jerusalem rulers mm-hmm. and his death outside the city walls. Jesus was crucified in Jerusalem. Yeah. But when he returns to this earth, the Bible says that the, that the new Jerusalem is going to descend out of the heavens. Yeah. So in other words, that which is meant for your bad, God is going to turn it in to your good. Right. See, Jerusalem was a city that crucified the prophets. Well. But when Jesus returned, the new Jerusalem is going to come. Mm-hmm. In other words, the Jerusalem... That, that Jesus is going yeah. gonna to descend from heaven, there'll be no more crying there. Yeah. There'll be no more dying yeah. there. Yeah. There'll be no more nights. There'll yeah. be no more ups. Yeah. Nor there'll be no more down. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ is the King of kings. Uh-huh. He is the Lord of lords. Yeah. Yeah. He is El Shaddai. Yeah. He right. is my hope for tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. He is the only true yes, and yeah. living God. Uh-huh. He is the one that sits high yeah. and looks down low. Yeah. Yeah. He is the one that knows all things. Yeah. Yeah. He is the one that came with, with triumph entry into his hand. Yeah. And the word triumph means victory. Yeah. 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 He came into Jerusalem with victory in in his hand. Yeah. But he came to die yeah. on a cross. Yeah. Now how is it that you can come in with victory yeah. knowing that you're going to die? Uh-huh. You see, as long as you are in you are in Christ Jesus, yeah. then there is no death. Yeah. Death cannot harm your body yeah. as long as you are in Christ Jesus. Yeah. And we, got to, we need to understand as followers of God, we need to know that God is on our side. Yeah. Yeah. No matter where we go, no matter what happens to us, we need to know that God is on our side.